And what determines these precise atomic arrangements? We're going to use the structurally simplest of all living things, a virus, to find out. These rods are tobacco mosaic virus, among the simplest of viruses, making them structurally the simplest living things. The organism takes its name from the mosaic patterns of light and dark green that it creates on the leaves of tobacco plants. No more than 300 nanometers long and 18 wide. These simplest of organisms Tell us much about the structure of all living things on planet Earth. The tobacco mosaic virus, among the most basic of organisms, shows precisely how atoms assemble themselves into life forms. To begin with, the virus consists of some 2,000 identical protein molecules. If we take a close look at one section, it is clear that molecules arrange themselves in a helical pattern. And each molecule its 2,400 atoms determine its shape. If we analyze one protein molecule with a computer, its structure unravels into single atoms of hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. Further, we can say that the sequence in which they arrange themselves and the bonding angles between them are precisely determined. How can such a simple organism produce such a complicated protein? Buried in the protein's helical arrangement is the virus's genetic material. It is this which dictates with the utmost precision the nature and composition of the protein in the tobacco mosaic virus. The sequence, the code if you like, embedded in its genetic molecule dictates the nature of every protein manufactured by an organism. And that is true of all organisms. Molecules like this are blueprints for creating precise machines out of proteins. In other words, living things. These are viruses that attach themselves to the surface of the bacterium Escherichia coli, hence the name bacteriophage. Scientists everywhere are investigating this tiny particle, called a T4-phage, to find out exactly how its genetic blueprint governs the manufacture of the organism's proteins. The cryogenic microscope at the Protein Engineering Research Institute in Japan is the most sophisticated of its type in the world. It can resolve detail in biological tissue down to two-tenths of a nanometer. 
To keep tissue as near as possible to its natural state, liquid nitrogen cools it to minus 180 degrees centigrade. In the cryogenic microscope, it will be cooled further, as close as possible to absolute zero. Temperatures prevailing in the deepest reaches of space will help preserve the atomic structure of tissue as it was when it lived. This is the result, the T4 phage through the cryogenic microscope. Its head gives a pattern like that of a fingerprint. Magnified even more, this image turns out to be the phage's DNA, its genetic material. Research like this has given us a detailed picture of how a T4 phage is built on its DNA blueprint. The head of this phage resembles a geodesic dome with 20 facets. Inside a coiled molecule of genetic material is the organism's reproductive blueprint. The head itself is made of four very specific proteins. A phage cannot move independently. It floats in water till it comes in contact with an E. coli bacterium. Then part of its protein changes as the phage anchors itself to the bacterium. Next, as if winding a mechanical spring, the tail in purple changes shape and drives the central core into the bacillus. The phage injects E. coli with its own genetic material. The phage's genetic ribbon breaks down the bacteriums, then begins using the same material to create copies of itself. The newly formed phage genetic molecule starts producing new protein components one after another. First the head, then tail fibers and so on. The blueprint for the necessary proteins is located at specific sites on the genetic molecule. Only when protein components for new phages have been assembled does the genetic ribbon enter its newly made head. Then the head attaches a tail followed by a tail fibers the result is a newly made phage. Nature handles this operation with a remarkable economy of effort. 25 minutes after locking onto a bacterium, the T4 phage has multiplied itself a hundredfold. The T4 phage illustrates the amazing abilities of living beings to reproduce by encoding for their own special proteins. Though we take ourselves for granted, that wonder includes us.